Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I want to show you some more of my favorite stamps. If you can't tell, I love butterflies. These ones are called gemstone insects, and these are from Inca Dinka Doo. So my card today is going to use three of the butterflies. I'm going to be using this large one, and then the teensy one, and the medium one. So I have some black ink. And I have some red glitter embossing powder. I have gold stickles. And I have a black card. And I chose to put gray on it. You're going to want to cut something for the inside. Because if you use a black card, of course, you're going to have to have some pretty bright gel pens to be able to write on it. I prefer just to make it so that I can use any kind of pen. So I'm going to put gray inside. And I also have a piece of scrap vellum so I'll be using that too. And I thought maybe I'd um, do the edges of my gray paper with my Southwest Punch. So I think that's all I'm going to need today. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm going to start with just my piece for the front. I don't want to glue this on the front of my card yet because I'm going to be stamping and embossing and if you have any kind of wet glue underneath your paper sometimes the embossing powder will stick to it if it has any bit of moisture on the front so I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to grab my little butterfly. I'm going to grab my embossing powder so I'm ready with that. Let's ink that up. This is just um, stamp wherever you want to on your card. I think this one's going to go down here. And I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp and put the embossing powder on each one before I go ahead and heat them up. Just to save a bit of time. So now I want my medium butterfly. Let's do the same thing. Ink that up. Let's see where we want that one to go. Maybe, I think right about there. Okay. I love red and black together. It just always, always looks nice. Okay, and then we're going to do the great big one. We're going to do this twice though. I'm going to do it on my card. And I am also going to do it on this piece of vellum. And we're going to end up cutting out the one that's on the vellum. So, let's go ahead and ink that up. Should have probably used my ink brayer for that, but I think I got it covered pretty well. This one's going to, let's make sure I got ink in the middle. I don't want the middle to fade out on me. Okay, so that's going to go right here. Okay, go ahead and get our powder on that. And since we're doing the vellum, we might as well just do it all at once. I give that a tap to get off the extra. And we'll go ahead and do this one too. Okay. So if that'll go anywhere on your vellum, it doesn't matter because we're going to cut it out. Okay, after I get this stumped off, I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool and get those all embossed. Okay, now I'm going to take my Southwest Punch and just do all these corners. And then I'm going to take a pair of little scissors with a nice sharp point and I'm going to cut around my butterfly here and it doesn't have to be perfect but I'll try to get pretty close to the edges because that is actually going to go right on top of 
the image that is identical to it. So I'll get these punched. I'm going to put this one in the inside, this one on the outside of the card, and I'm going to go ahead and cut out my butterfly. Okay, so you can see I have my card put together, the inside and the outside, and I cut out my butterfly. And on the vellum, it's just so neat because it's opaque, so you can kind of see through it. And I'm going to next grab my gold stickles. If you notice on this butterfly, it has these beautiful, nice spaces in here. I am going to put gold on them and then just a little tip on each of the antenna. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, you can either do this and let it dry before you ever attach it to the card. That might be the best option. You might notice too with the stickles that your butterfly might curl up a little bit as it's drying, but once it's dry, it does straighten out. Again, and we do want a little bit of dimension. I'm going to turn this around to make it easier. Nice thing about the stickles is they have that really fine tip so you can get right in there and put it right in those shapes. And this just makes for a really, really, really beautiful card with that. The red and the gold and the black. It's just so pretty. There's a little teensy, teensy circle right at the top of the antenna, so I just put a little teensy bit of gold on that. And to finish our card off, you'll probably want to let yours dry, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. I'll do this very carefully. Just fold the wings up, and we're going to want a little bit of adhesive on the back there. So just put it right on the back of the body. And what we're going to do is just position this right on top of the other one. So it's going to match it exactly. And then we just want to leave this till it dries really well. But you can see, you just have a spectacular card to give to someone. So can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to let mine sit and dry. Thanks so much for watching.